Hello. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Let me show my camera. Thank you, everyone, for coming in today. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are just starting because um, we had to wait for some other people to join us, especially those who are going to, going to be talking about their schools. So now I think we've got kind of full house. Um, there was a representative of, La La of Lawrence Sheriff, of Rugby High, and of Ashland. So um, for the year 11, sorry, year sixes who are doing their exams tomorrow, you can ask them any question about grammar school, ask them any question about 11 plus. So without further ado, I'll just, um, I'll do it alphabetically. So I have Ashlon and then Lawrence Sheriff and then Rugby High alphabetically. So um, uh, I'm starting with Ashlon. Ruth is here to tell us about Ashlon and you know the exams and all of that but before then let me show you what ashland looks like i'll show you what ashland looks like for those who are thinking mm, what does ashland look like so where are you yeah there we go so we are looking at this this is ashland It looks like a very massive school. So that's a bit of Ashland. And for those of you who have attended the uh, open evening, you will relate to what is being shown here. Okay, I will stop that now. So there's no volume because I decided not to put volume there. Okay, I will stop that right away. Stop. So, Ruth, any, for those of you here from all the schools, you can either show your screen or not show your screen. It depends on what you, you're comfortable with, okay? I mean, show your, uh, show your screen or not show your screen, yeah. Okay, over to you, Ruth. So, um... I think the question I said I was going to be asking people is just to give us a summary of what your school is like, why you like your school, and um, you know what was your experience of the eleven plus, and uh, what else did I say there, and any inf other information you want to give to us. Over to you. Hello, my name is Ruth. I'm twelve years old, and I go to Ashland School. So my experience of the um, class exam wasn't too bad because I prayed for the exam and I wasn't too nervous like some people would have been. The 11 plus wasn't too hard for me because most of the topics were each well, non-verbal, verbal, maths and English that I revised for when the exam, and I remembered a lot of the methods, my 11 plus tutors taught me. So that helped me know how to work out most of the questions. Also, when do you come tomorrow? Don't get nervous, otherwise your mind won't be clear and you won't be able to focus on your exam. I would advise you to bring revision cards with you if you're being driven to the um, plus exam hall so that you can recap everything you've learned in English, Math and Verbal and Verbal and that way you'll be more prepared for the exam. If you're stuck on any questions just like mark the paper or post or anything like that so that you know which question you have to go back to and when you're finished if you run out of time just guess the answer because that's what I did. I like my school because a lot of the teachers help you improve and develop your knowledge 
of each subject if you pay attention in class and whenever you need help with anything they're always happy to help you and everyone gets to participate in extracurriculums such as dance, music, drama, photography and art. They're all really enjoyable and fun from my experience and the enrichment in my school. They're either like during lunch or after school and there are tons of them such as chess, um, Irish dancing, trampolining, football, netball, badminton, tennis, um, handball and I can't remember like anything else but there's loads and I just want to say in year seven when you get to year seven don't stress about the homework and try to do it shortly after you've been given it so that you can have more free time and yeah does anyone have any questions thank you very much Ruth um we'll come to the question um okay yeah let's let's do the questions anyone has um questions for Ruth um or about Ashlawn school or if you're thinking about it then you or if you don't want to say it you can type in the chat um your question so we'll go to the next one because I'm looking at my time we need to finish on time so thank you very much Ruth and uh, she has given you some tips there to uh, take with you tomorrow then I have um so L I've got Lauren Sheriff before we share Lauren Sheriff I know Derek is online you're going to uh, talk about it but before then I want to share on my screen um what Lauren Sheriff looks like for those of you who think mm, I wasn't there for the open evening so what does Lauren Sheriff look like I will share on my screen now. Oops, where are you? Okay. So that's um, that's Lawrence Sheriff School. That's their website, lawrenceshariffschool.net. And they've got so much information on there. So... For those of you who missed the um, open evening, you can still check for their information online. Okay, um, so I'll call on Derek to please. So I'll call on Derek now to please um, talk to us about Lawrence Sheriff. Hello. Hello, hello, uh, Derek. My, my name is my name is Derek, and I go to school at Lawrence Sheriff, and I'm in year ten. Thank well, you. for me, the eleven plus wasn't like difficult, but I was still very nervous. And to be honest, what what helped me calm down during it was that my friends were there, and we we were all calm each each other down down like just by just being there and what what I would would advise is that you're not that like don't be that nervous or, or else you're just an inevitably screw up. So try to calm yourself down as much as you can before the test or else something bad will, will never and will inevitably happen. And I like my school because whenever whenever you're struggling in in a certain subjects, the teacher will know and and they will always do their best to help you. For example, like when I was struggling in math, they they recommended me a an after school club to go to and it it helped me improve so much. F and and my grades in that subject skyrocketed, skyrocketed, and they they also do after school clubs like D and D, 
Um, tennis, table Go. tennis. Done. Oh, okay. Thank um, you very much. Thank you very much, Derek, for um, giving us a summary of Ash, uh, sorry, of Lawrence Sheriff. Um, there was one other person I thought would be online. Uh, is Obi there from Lawrence Sheriff? Is thank you very much, Derek. He, Derek is in year ten, and I'm sure he must have forgotten a bit of how it was with eleven plus because he's after how yeah. many years now. But Obi just got in to year seven, and so he's going to tell us his own experience as well of Lawrence Sheriff. Go on, Obi. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, so from my experience, uh, what do you want me to talk about first? The uh, eleven plus or Lawrence Sheriff? Itself? You can talk. You can introduce yourself, and then you tell us your experience. Okay, let me put you through one at a time. So introduce yourself, your name, age, and school. Okay, hello guys. My name is Sophia Zogo. Um, I'm eleven years old, and I've just finished taking eleven plus, and I'm going to Lawrence Sheriff School. Okay. So now, what was your experience of the eleven plus? Uh, my experience of that, the my experience of eleven plus. How do I say this? Before coming, I felt I, I felt a, lo a lot of pressure on me, sort of, uh, at the time. But on but on the day, on the on the day, I calmed myself down a little bit. Okay. Because when you're, when you're extremely pressured, it clouds your judgment and your thinking. So I calmed myself down before the test. I'm going to. Oh. Okay. Thank you very much, Obi. The next question is Are there any advice you have for the pupils who are doing their exams tomorrow? Hello, Obi. Are you still there? Okay, something has gone wrong with the with Obi's internet, I think. Are you there, Obi? Are you there? Okay, not there. So I guess they're trying to back on. If you're talking, I can't hear you. You may want to unmute. You. Okay, yeah, the instant internet. I'm sure they'll join back in soon. So you've had some tips. Do You don't need to be nervous. Yes, you've done all the work you can do. It's just about doing your best and uh, don't allow pressure or, oh, am I going to pass? Am I not going to pass? Don't allow that um, uh, control you tomorrow. Just go like, okay, I'm here to do my best. I'm here to take on the world. So calm yourself down. Thank you very much, Um Thank you very much, Obi. So, yeah, you can continue mm -hmm. from where you stopped. Okay, sorry about that. Just some technical difficulties. But what really helped me on the day of the first is that I uh, is that I composed myself. And what and what and what really helped me is that the fact I had my friends, my friends with me in the room, and I had the support of my family. And for me, family is one of the most important things. And and uh, and when I was taking it, I I had I believe that I had my family support. So with the support, uh, my own belief and the belief of my friends, uh, I was I'll be, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to do a little. It's because um I'll be I'll be honest. Uh, previously before the level of this, well, I did I didn't study as much as I knew I should have. Mm. But when I was coming to the day, um, my my family my family and my sons. They convinced me to give it my all, good or bad, and then, and then, and, and then I tried, and then I tried my best. And using that motivation they gave me, I, I took, um, I took whatever it was. And to my surprise, even I got a half decent score and got into lottery show for school that I was planning to go to. Wow, wonderful. I'm so glad about that testimony. That's so impressive. Thank you. It's to those who are feeling low of themselves or thinking, oh, I've tried all my best. I don't always get a high score in the mock. And they're like discouraged. This is your time to listen to what uh, Obi has to say that even though he felt um, he didn't prepare as much, but then um, he was able to get in through the encouragement he had from family and friends so always remember what your parents have told you about 
doing your best in school. Um, now, the next question is, why do you like your school, Obi? Uh, I love it, Sheriff. Um, if I'm being completely honest, the first transition day, I did, I didn't really like it. It is because of, of the change. It was really weird for me. Like, yeah, yeah, like the six different periods, you do this, you do that. At first, I, I was a bit confused. And then even after my first day, I asked my parents to change school because I didn't have as many friends that I had in different schools, still to go Harris. Mm. But then after my first week or so, I started to get used to it. Mm. But after you get used to the change, you just, um, you just, you just embrace it and you, and, and you just enjoy it. Uh, and now I'm really enjoying my time at Norwich. I've made loads of new friends, and I've kept all the previous friends that I've had. And at Norwich, and at Norwich, um, I've ju- I've just really enjoyed my time my, my time here so far. So. Wow, wonderful! What do you have in that school that's made you enjoy your time? What kind of support did you get? Uh, at at Norwich, pa- uh, after my after my first few day and um, my first transition day, I was asking my parents like to um, to to change me to a different school. This part, this part. When they gave, and then they and then they made me give a Norwich chef an open mind, like like just because it was only it was only one day, and I based my opinion all of that. Mm. And then after, then after that, it took some getting used to meeting new people. But once you find your friend and you slowly start to fit in, it gets a lot better. It gets yeah. a lot easier. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, opening up your mind, that, that was what worked for you. So many people are like, oh, I don't, like, I don't know anybody there. You don't need to know anyone there to go there. All you just need to do is open your mind up and let um and shine through, shine through. Thank you very much. Uh, that was very brilliant. Thank you very much, Obi. I will yeah. go on to before the, the questions. People are going to be asking questions before the question time. Um, or does anyone have any questions for Obi and Derek? If you do, let me know. And if you don't. Somebody does. How did you feel doing the exam? Okay. So who are you asking? Obi or Derek? Are you okay? So yeah, Lauren Sheriff, Derek and Obi. How did Gabby Gabriella says, how did you feel doing the exams? Uh I've got answer to that. During during the during the exams, because before before as I said I felt a bit pressured and then once I slightly composed myself and thought clear um I had I had a slight feeling of I I, fo- I focused and st- and I expected the exam to be slightly different maybe a little bit harder I during, during the exam I felt how how did I put it into it I felt a little bit of I felt a little bit of Okay, it's muted now. You can carry mm-hmm. on. Sorry, 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 that's just a technical issue. Okay, so. Okay, during the exam, I felt a little bit of joy and focus. Joy as because you said previous months, it was all building up to this one moment. Mm-hmm. Once I composed myself, I felt I was finally, I was finally doing the big exam that, that I prepared for for months. I, I felt that I underprepared, but then, but then after, I was going through the test, I felt more confident in myself and my abilities to do, yes. to do, to do better. Then yes. slowly, as I slowly as I went on during the test, I got I gained confidence. Mm. And then I was able, and then I was able, and then I was oh, able to <laughs> Um, okay thanks thank you thank you very much um for asking that question gabriella um adasa you have a question now for lauren sheriff okay go on Um, actually actually i want to ask everyone this question okay if it's for everyone if it's for everyone hold it hold it on there i will show that of rugby high um for rugby high let me share the screen of rugby i have zion who's going to who's recorded, who's kindly recorded 
uh, something for us to watch because she's unable to make it today. And I have Ada and Destley um, here as well. So I will um, show you what we have for Rugby High. I'll show you the school just like I did for others. Rugby High. There you go. So that is Rugby High. And um, so that is the website. That's rugbyhighschool.co.uk. And um, you can explore the website and see what it's all about. So let me stop sharing. Oh, no, let me stop sharing. Okay. And so I will put on the screen... I'll put on the screen um, what Zion actually um, sent to Ross. Oops, where is it now? I cannot find it. Okay, um, one minute. Before, before I show what... Um, oops, 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 oops. Sorry, one minute. Um, okay, maybe this is the time to ask your question, Adasa, while I'm trying to sort out what Zion sends. Go on, Adasa. So, the type of questions they are going to put in the exam paper. Okay. The type of questions they're going to be asking in the exam paper. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, okay, let me bring up this now. So, we'll hold on to that question and see. Um, one minute. One minute. Okay, let me see if I can bring up. So the type of questions. So um, just keep thinking. For those of you who have just done your exams, who are already in Ashlon, in Rock Behind, in Lawrence Sheriff, you can give ideas of the kind of questions. But mind you, these ones that are here. I've done, they were only able to do CEM, which is like the bond kind of books. Now the criteria has changed and they, it's now about, um, it is no longer CEM. It's now going to be um, GL, GL assessment, where you talk about spatial reasoning. You know, spatial reasoning is another different thing entirely. So you want to be able to, um, you want to be able to ask questions in that line but at the same time maths is maths everywhere English is English everywhere and the same way verbal and non-verbal it's just that they have different ways of asking the questions okay so um, I can't find that video to show you but I think at some point I will show it so um, I'll call on Ada and best and bestly or obviously Whichever is comfortable for you. Either you're going Ada is gonna say something and Bestley is gonna to add to your Ada Bestley says Ada adds to you because you're both rugby high. So over to you, Bestley and Hi. Ada. Right now it's me, Bestley. Okay. My sister Ada, right now she's studying for an exam. Ah, okay. Yeah, she has coming up in a like in a few I don't know why, but she's studying for it. So I can I've got some sort of say which I can say to help. Great, great. People Thank you. Here. So, can you introduce yourself? Your name, your age, and you know, your class. You know, it's your year now. And then, uh, okay. Yeah. My name's Bethany Zogo. I'm 12 years old. And I go to Rugby High School. And I'm now in year eight. Great. Yes, so uh, thank you very much. So what, what was your experience of the 11 plus? I know we've had the opportunity of speaking with Ada and Bessler before they even went into the grammar school. And um, the 11 this, plus, I yes. saw this. Yes. <laughs> okay, so on the night of the 11 plus, me and my brother, Obi, we had it a bit different because how or what Obi did, Obi said he Obi didn't do anything. He kind of relaxed, watched football and tried to ease his mind. Then what I did, I locked myself up into my bedroom and I just couldn't, I just kept on reading, studying, going over everything. I made myself a little list of stuff 
which I, I, I made a list, list of all the stuff I need to know. I highlight, made it to color coaching. I feel like you should do this. If you feel like, if you're a bit paranoid and feel like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready, do this. Like, make a list, color code it, stuff you know 110%, stuff and stuff that you do not know, like 50 50. So I did that and I color coded it all. And all the stuff I didn't know, like 50 50, I knew a bit of it, but I didn't know it really well. I would research it and make sure it was in my head and I'd memorize it all. And I didn't go to bed. And I also wanted to get a really early night. It's better you wake up early and have time to prepare a bit more for the exam than you wake up late and you've missed the exam. So I also tried to go to bed really, really early. I tried to force myself to go to bed because, like, I was scared. Now, when I reached the place, because when I was there, when I reached the place, I was really, really scared of, oh, my God, it's called. Um, it's, oh, God. Um, algebra. Algebraic algebra. Algebra, yeah. I got really scared of that because mm. I didn't like practice it a lot. No one during my exam, I don't know about yours, but I didn't see a lot of algebra questions. So then I was a bit relieved. And so then it kind of just put a rest in my mind because that was the only thing I was worried about in the exam. And also comprehend comprehension isn't my highest play. I'm not really high in comprehension. So then I just have to keep telling myself, skim read it, don't spend so much time in it, spend like five minutes max reading the text and then read the questions and then after, answer all the questions you know, then read it again and try and answer it like that. And so then after I finished the exam, I was like, oh God, I feel like I failed. I don't think I did well. I was really scared. I tried to just turn my mind off about it. I was like, if I don't, I had to tell myself, if I don't go to a grammar school, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I was just, I'm trying to stay positive. And then when I got to my school, I was happy. I didn't expect it to happen. I was really, really happy. And it wasn't even half bad. It was actually okay. And I was really happy because all the hard work I put in paid off. And it was like, I couldn't stop smiling for days. I was like on cloud nine. Wow. And so then I felt like that was my 11 plus experience. Wow, wonderful. Thank you. That, that was good to know because I'm sure so many of them here can relate to that. And um, next question is, are there any advice for pupils doing the 11 plus tomorrow? My advice is, what's it's like 6 now, and you're doing it tomorrow. If you're doing it tomorrow, it really depends the timing. If you're doing it in the morning, I feel like if you feel like you have done what you've got to do for the exam, I, I feel like you should try and get an early night, try and rest your brain, just do stuff so you just don't feel, just like make sure you treat yourself well, don't stay up really, really late. And I also, and I also feel like you should have a positive mindset going into that. I got, I had a really, really scared mindset and the fear like was eating at me during the exam. I feel like if I was far more relaxed, I would have, and like not all had, like I was really hurried. I was like, my brain couldn't stop spinning. I would have been able to get more stuff down. So I feel like you have to calm yourself tell yourself it's just an exam if I fail I still get to go to a school which is going to be fine and just like think of all the positives mm -hmm. so you could like and then you just realize how easy the actual test is okay wow thank you thank you very much um uh bestly um mm -hmm. finally why do you like your school rugby high why do you like rugby high um I feel like I like rugby high okay, if I have to be honest in year seven I, was, I loved the school when I reached the school. When I reached school, I was like, where has this place been all my life? I was enjoying it. I went to clubs. They have, like, so many clubs. And also, if you're catching a bus for the clubs, it's at lunchtime. So you, if, you have a, if, you have, if you have to catch a bus, your parents don't have to pick you up because all their, lunch, all their clubs are at lunchtime. So it's really, really good. And they do, like, a bunch of sports. If you like writing, they have creative writing club. Or they have they held many competitions. And I was really loving the school. And then I'm, like, in maybe April or something like that I was like I was the face just like I don't know I just didn't I didn't like school I felt like I didn't want to go I wasn't enjoying it and I felt like I just felt really like not good but then the teachers at the school really just changed your mood because once the teachers saw oh yeah I wasn't sure that I wasn't like doing as well I wasn't trying as hard as I used to they would like they would also teach her, like our pastoral team. They would help out. They would talk to you if you weren't feeling good, and it just like make your day so much more better. Mm. And like, because it, it shows you that they care and everything. 
And as I was with this school, I really like this school because I'm a really competitive person. So it gives me a really competitive drive because there'll always, be, always be someone that's a bit better than me. And then I would go home and try and study so I can like be on top. Because if you have, if you're really competitive, the school is really meant for you. Because it's like it just always keeps you on your toes, and you're always, you always, you're always going to be knowing information. Wow. So thank you. And thank now, in, yeah, and now that I'm in year eight, I just love the school. Now I'm in year eight, I'm just love the school in general because the school is just an amazing place. And if you, and also seeing the new year sevens come in, and I remember, oh yeah, I'm like, that used to be me last year, looking all confused where my classes are, and this and that. So then it's just like, I just come and help the year sevens because I know how it feels to be a year seven all lost and scared. I was terrified when I got late for a class. Oh. I just go help them out. Right, great. Thank you very much, Bestly. So that was, that was Bestly, you just heard from Rugby High. For those who are just joining in, unfortunately, you have missed um, someone from Ashland talking, someone, um, two people from Lawrence Sheriff who talked, and um, now Bess Lee. And um, Zion recorded something for me to show, but for some reason, I, I just can't show it now, but I will show it in the YouTube version um, by the time we end this um, talk. And so, what are the questions you have? What are the questions? Yes, um, Hadassah, you, you were asking a question earlier. So, this is your time to ask any question from any of those who, have, who are already in grammar school about their school. About Yes, um, Hadassah was asking a question before, um, before I said you should know the question. Go on. I was asking a question about um, the exam question okay exam questions what were the kind of topics that came out so yes yes like i said um, you know, there's was cm so is anyone here who wants to answer that 11 plus i 10. could help i feel like when i did the exam even though it's now cm mm. uh, no no yeah when it was cm that i saw I feel like the math questions were really aimed towards like word, like a lot more worded questions than the like quick, like quick questions. So I feel like if you have like, if you can look at like, you know, when you look at like a worded problem and you know what to do, if you can do that, I feel like you'll be fine with the math section. Okay. Okay. And then also for the comprehension bit. It's like you know, because near the end of the comprehension, but it's always like an opinion, an opinion-based answer. Like in your opinion, what do you think? And like in your opinion, what do you think about this and and this and that? I feel like if you must. Okay, the internet is playing up again. All right. Um. Okay. Um. I'm sure she's struggling to continue her sentence. So, um, she has said it um you know her, in her in her answer um you need to whatever topics you have in maths in english and verbal nonverbal just um try to get all of them you you've you've been through tutorials you've been through uh, you've had questions done in school even questions in school that you've done whichever one you feel is still confusing like some people talk about area perimeter volume they're still struggling with the formula those are things you need to concentrate on um, and know them. Um, distance, time, speed, of course, that comes out regularly. Things like a ratio, um, that's maths. We're talking of maths now. And if you are still confused, there is um, a website, I mean, there is a page of mine where I have, um, I have actually decided to do some work by giving a summary, something like this under Elisha Debbie, where you can see a summary of some of those topics you could be asking yourself in verbal and nonverbal, and then some math tips as well. So you can, you can use that. Um, and there's so many other YouTube channels online that you can use. Can so- Can I ask a question about high school? Okay, all right. Go ahead, Sebi. Um, 
So what's the year that doesn't really matter the most? Like you can just be like you don't have to stress about it as much. Okay. Yes, uh, Lawrence Sharif, Ashlon, uh, Rugby High. What year is it that you 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 can still you know say okay yeah I'm still in the jolly jolly time I don't need to do too much work maybe when I get to GCSEs and I start doing work what year would that would you say that is if there is um <laughs> I feel like there never really is a year where you feel like oh I can just do jolly jollies but I feel like the year that does not need you don't need to really be pressurized that much is year eight because in year seven you want to like make a good start for yourself you want to like go really high and out with everything in year eight if you did like if you stay on top in year seven in year eight you're just going to keep on staying on top because you can't really fall because you're going to be learning the same stuff just more in depth so if you master everything in year seven in year eight should be a breeze then in year nine year 10 or we're going to like for the GCSEs I feel like in year nine is when you learn all the new stuff which you're going to le later learn in GCSEs so I feel like once you're in year nine, no more fooling around. You should like, even if you are going to fool around, make sure your homework's done the day you get it, or maybe not, or maybe like in the next two days before, after you get it, just so you always stay on top of your homework. Because the next thing you know, you like stop doing your homework for like a week, not a week, maybe like you miss, you just don't do it for like a day or something. You're like piled up. Mm -hmm. Like just, even if you're ill, make sure you ask your friends, can you send me photos of your notes so you can copy it down into your book? Because you don't want to ever be a step behind everyone else. Yeah. It's better you're a step ahead than being a step behind. So I feel like the year that you can like calm down a bit is year eight and year nine is when you have to like go back. If you calm down a bit in year eight, you'll still be on top or you'll just be at the same level as everyone else. In year nine, go back to being year seven be on top and try be harder so when you're going into year 10 or be prepared and when you're in year 11 and year 12 and etc going to the GCSEs. Mm -hmm. year 10. Okay sure. thank you thank you very much um yeah. Bessley. Um does Lawrence Derek do you want to answer yeah. the question and uh, who else is there? Ro Ruth what year do you think you can start relaxing? I think um Bestly has, has said it all, but with grammar schools, that's why it's called grammar school. There is no time of it. From day one, it's like you're on a race. That's the way I see it. You're on a race. There's always something. There's always something. There's no time to relax. The only time you relax is weekends. That's if you're not doing homework. But um, like she has said, even your year seven results will lead to year eight. Your eight, year eight result leads to year nine and choosing the subjects. And all of that. So I would say from day one, from now, even while you're doing your exams, it's until you finish your secondary school. Even when you finish and you're going to sixth form, is another level of difficulty. Um, but it's all for good. It's all for good because you don't learn throughout. Well, you don't be in You're not in school all your year, all your life. You're just in school for a certain period and then you start using what you've learned in school to earn money all right thank you very much uh ada sorry bestly i want to say ada thank you very Hi. much okay yes ruth you want to say something in year seven um you know how you do like all the topics in year 11 plus um those topics come up in year seven when you're doing when you go to class you're like in maths and english you'll um do the same work that like you did in 11 plus throughout the year so it wouldn't i don't think it would be that hard for you okay okay so because you've already done them in 11 plus um you've already prepared for them you start seeing those questions come through in your year seven when you start school thank you very much ruth uh derek any questions you're in year 10 what's your opinion about or is it not um, yeah sorry what was the question again so um sebi was asking at what 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 which of the years will you say oh you're gonna re 
have to be able to relax a bit because once you're going in, you're kind of on the edge at all the, um, at all times. So which year, year seven, year eight, year nine, year 10, year 11, year 12, or year 13, which of the years do you think you can start relaxing a bit? Um, to be honest, I don't think like after seven and eight, I, I don't think you can relax in any of the years mm. because like year eight was bordering like getting really hard and you, and your lines ramped up the like like you just got a lot more information from mm. from from your teachers mm. yeah. and your ten is going to be even harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it keeps I think seven and eight are the best time to relax. <laughs> okay. To relax after eleven plus, uh the pressure of eleven plus. But like mm -hmm. Ada said, as um like Bestley said, you would you will be doing um a lot more proving yourself in year seven that oh that score you got in 11 plus yes you did it yourself it wasn't someone else who did it for you so you have to prove yourself in year seven and that's why whatever topic you learned you have learned or you're learning make sure you know it well don't just do it for the exam purpose and forget about it no ruth said you're going to be asked such questions again when you get to year eight but of course you would have known it better and you'd be more mature at that time all right thank you very much any other questions before we go i think we've spent uh, how long have we been here whoa 41 minutes any other questions before we release our people and tell them thank you yes Adasa. i have no question uh, you have no question or another question I have no question. no question. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And let me check in the chat if there's any question there. Okay, none of them has done GL. Someone says, has any of them done GL? No, GL. This is the first time they're doing GL. Um, yeah, that is the... So this is... You are the first set. So I'm hoping that by next year, you will also be saying, yeah, I am now in so so, -so and this is my experience of 11+. plus." So I'll be calling you back to I to um to talk to those who are going to be in year six next year. So um hopefully and prayerfully you're going to get to your school, the school of your choice. So get ready. You're the first GL assessment people. You're going to be telling me after the exams what was in GL, what came up, what were the topics that came up. All right, Adasa, Gabriela, uh, who else is here? Uh, Rhoda, uh, maybe Benny, if you're here. Yes, so I'll be asking all of you how GL went. Thank you very much. I think this is a time to say thank you, thank you. So um, who's going to thank them thank for you. coming to educate you? Someone should, okay. Can I hear more thank, thank you. yous? Thank you. All right, so thank I can see you in the chat. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Derek. Thank you, uh, Adam, Wesley. Thank you, Obi. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you very much for your time here. And I say, have a good evening. So I wish you all the best um, year sixes for tomorrow. God bless you and God be with you. Bye. You can rewatch on YouTube. You can rewatch this on YouTube. Um. Thank you. Thank you. So now Zion will be telling us about her own experience. My name is Zion. I'm 12 years old and I'm in year 8 at Rugby High School. So my experience of the 11 plus was actually very interesting. So obviously there's lots of stressing and exam preparation beforehand. But the day of the exam, it was actually kind of, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I was just, I just took a deep breath, prayed, and just kept a cool head. If you don't keep a cool head, then it's going to screw up your chances a lot. So calm down. It'll improve your concentration. Everything's going to be so much better for you, especially when, like, and you get to the certain test that maybe you're, more scared about maybe you don't perform as well on them normally but you'll be surprised it's not as hard as you would think it is it's not it's not that scary don't worry about it 
And any advice, just calm down. Keep a cool head, put your head down, pray before you and do the exam. That's all I can say. Just calm down, make sure you studied hard. That's it. And why do I like my school? Well, it's amazing. The teachers are really nice. The food is amazing. That's an added plus. And well, the classes are generally fun. So I have so maths is actually fun. Then there's other things. So there's a carousel. Like when you get to year eight, you'll start doing things like textiles, food technology. You get to make food, and especially certain teachers, people have favorites. So yes, it's really fun. It's amazing. The curriculum is great. So yeah, everything's great and everyone's really friendly. So when I was in year seven, there was like a bunch of year nines next door to our form room and we were lost. And uh, we, I went up to their form room asking them where one of their classes were because everyone was like reading our maps and checking the timetable. And we were all confused where the next lesson was. So she, they, I, I followed them to show me where the next lesson was and I found it we managed to know where our lessons was but yeah getting lost is very much part of it it's it's part of the experience of secondary school because if you don't get lost I would be very impressed but don't worry about it everyone is always there to look after you there's teachers you can ask them everyone's so friendly everyone's really ready like, especially year eight, at the beginning, people actually, they go on year seven hunts. Like, everyone does this. So everyone would be looking for year sevens who seemed lost to find help, find them, help them, show them where their next class is, and find their form room again. But, yeah, it's 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 fun. It's, it's an amazing school. So, yeah, just make sure you work hard and make sure you have everything very well done under control because if you don't study hard or if you're just ready to go that's good but then as long as when you're taking your exam make sure that you calm down that's the main thing i can say to you all right that's me then bye good luck okay thank you very much zion for that god bless you thank you very much that was grace to know that actually 11 plus is not as scary as it is, but parents want you to do your best, teachers want you to do your best, and you have to prove to yourself that you can shine, you can be the best that you ought to be. So all of the work you've been doing, tomorrow is the test. I wish you all the best, and I say um, may all your efforts be um, rewarded with great testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. So yeah, take care of yourselves. And thank you, thanks to um, those who were able to join us today from Lawrence Sheriff, from um, Lawrence Sheriff, we had Derek and Obi. From Ashlon, we had Ruth. And from Rugby High, we had Zion and Besley. Thank you very much for coming over. And I'm hoping that this talk will actually help other children who are um, going to be having their exams on Saturday or on Sunday. Thank you. And thank you to those who are online. His word. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for um, showing your support. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best, everyone. I wish you all the best. Have a good weekend. And bye-bye.